In this video, I'm going to be giving a breakdown of this egg beater knee climb that I had stumbled upon while training a couple of years ago. Now, I'm not going to lie, it's pretty challenging and it is just kind of a straightforward, tricky climb. However, there are a couple of tips I can offer. So after we watch it in full here, I'll break it down step by step and then let you know of a couple of common errors you might run into. So the first thing you'll want to do is make sure that your tails are completely separated from each other. This will make that first egg beater uh, a lot easier and will ensure that the tails don't get all tangled around each other. You're gonna notice that I'm pulling the tail out and over my face each time I climb. Partially, this just makes for a cool shape, but it also means that I'm pulling tension under that pit of the knee so it's a little bit easier to hold the grip when I let go with my hand. I'm climbing up, either choosing to split and climb up each pull or climb up the same pull. It's kind of up to your discretion which feels the best. Now, one thing you'll want to keep in mind is you don't want to have your knee turned out when you are hooking because it will just slide right off that fabric. You want to keep the knee pointed directly up towards the ceiling to ensure a nice strong grip between the calf and the hamstring. And the second thing you wanna be aware of is that your body is not too vertical while moving through the climb. It will both cause the egg beater wrap to fall off, but it will also make it really difficult to keep that knee on the fabric nice and strong. So notice how in my more successful attempts, I'm quite horizontal with my body even when I bring my hand off, I remain horizontal until I'm ready to climb up. Also notice how I'm sliding my hand down the tail in order to leave room for my knee to grip comfortably. If you neglect to slide the hand down, you might notice that you are hooking directly on top of your hand or that you just don't have enough space in the tail to get a proper knee hook. And those are the tips I have to offer. As I mentioned earlier, this climb is just pretty tricky, so the best thing you can do is ensure that your knee grip is feeling nice and warm. If you refer to my channel, you'll see that I posted a video earlier this week with some progressions for strength building in the knee pit and ways in which you can warm up. So do check it out and give this climb a try. I can't wait to hear what you think. 